Now, when do you know that your ego has taken control? Whenever you feel a reaction to a certain situation coming up and you ask yourself, do I really want this feeling? Do I want this? If then the answer to that question is no, then your ego is in control. You may ask, hey Armin, if there is such an important uh, factor in the ego, how do I get back in control? How do I manage my ego? As an entrepreneur, to some extent, your business will always depend on you and your personality. Sometimes that may get to you and affect you in ways you cannot predict. In this video, I will share with you how to deal with these situations and control your ego so it matches your professional goals. An entrepreneur's main problem is himself and the effect he has on his team. The company and the team will define themselves through you as a founder and leader. So why is your ego so important then? First of all, your ego is responsible for your initial reactions to any situations. It can go into fighting mode when feeling attacked or criticized. It is very strong and can harm relationships and create a lot of energy for you and your team. In any sort of professional environment, your ego is thus the main driver for how you behave and how you are perceived by your colleagues and your employees. Now, when do you know that your ego has taken control? Whenever you feel a reaction to a certain situation coming up and you ask yourself, do I really want this feeling? Do I want this? If then the answer to that question is no, then your ego is in control. You may ask, hey Armin, if there is such an important uh, factor in the ego, how do I get back in control? How do I manage my ego? The answer is quite simple when you think about it, yet it takes some time to implement uh, it in real life. Don't try to fight the feelings that come up. Try and let them flow. Breathe calmly and limit your communication in these situations, even in meetings. After some time, when your ego has become calmer, analyze the situation. Why did you feel like this? What is the underlying scheme? Once you have done that, you have several options to proceed. The first one is to better handle similar situations in the future by putting things into perspective. This can be done, for example, by asking yourself, what difference will this reaction, this situation, this feeling for me actually make in my life in one year's time? Mostly the answer is none. Your second option is to take yourself less seriously. This will make it easier to take other opinions and ideas into consideration and therefore develop your business better. And your third option, if you feel like there is no way you can get your ego under control, uh, is to avoid the situation altogether. This is rather a last resort as you are expected to be able to deal with all aspects of your business as its leader. But with the right mindset and willingness to overcome your ego in certain situations, you can not only develop on a personal but also on a professional level. If you're interested, you can find my contact details, details below this video and we can have a chat about one of your specific leadership challenges. This is completely free and it is no sales. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up or leave a comment or share it uh, with your community. I personally respond to every comment. Thanks for watching. This was Armin Rao from A. Leonard Rao, The Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.